Hello guys, it's Martin again and welcome to the fourth episode of Road to Dragonlore. As you can remember, last week we left off with about 164 keys. In our stash we had a Karambit Doppler, a P2K Fire Elemental and 16 keys. Here is the last trade we've made and now I'm gonna show you what we've achieved over the week. I was able, like I said, to sell the P2K for free keys and I was able to sell the Karambit for 154 keys. Um, then I got a very very cheap Bayonet Marble Fate. I got it for 127 keys and I was really happy about this trade because it was yeah, like super cheap because these usually sell for 150 keys. Now in our stash we have uh, 46 keys plus this knife and it's like the same value um, as the Karambit Doppler. I was also able to buy a very cheap um, AK Vulcan uh, for the normal 80% and as you can see um, I've noticed this knife isn't really popular, the Marvel Fate, so I decided to trade it away for a Karambit Doppler again. This one is phase one. And I think this is a pretty even trade in terms of value, so we didn't gain anything out of it. Um, yeah, I downgraded the Karambit Doppler to a Bayonet Doppler and some ads. And this is the most crazy trade we've made over the week. Um, I didn't know the Orb Medusa up to this point, but this guy, Legit Scoper, um, added me and he basically told me he wants my entire inventory for this Orb. And I did some research. At this point my inventory was worth like 180-190 keys. And I've seen people asking for 450 plus keys. So I was a bit skeptical about the trade, but I've decided to do it. And I even told this guy, like he told me, one guy is offering him a Karambit Fate stat track, and I told him, dude, this knife is worth more than my entire inventory. But he didn't really listen to me and said, yeah, I want your inventory. And I said, okay, fine. And yeah, I got the Orb Medusa. Um, only one day later, I was able to sell the Orb Medusa for 170 keys. That's like almost my entire inventory. Plus a Fire Serpent Factory new. So, like this trade already doubled our inventory. Just one trade. Um, yeah. In the next trade, um, I found somebody who really valued the, the AK Fire Serpent for its value. Um, and this guy offered me, or he just wanted to, to one for one trade against this Bayonet Marble Fate, but the Fire Serpent is a bit more worth, so he didn't really have the, the um, proper items to add something, so I asked him, hey, what if I give you 125 keys for your Karambit Doppler? And he agreed, so yeah. I already have two awesome knives now. Um, here I just borrowed a friend a knife for a game, and here is the, the, the main income for this week now. I was just trading around with, with similar valued items and somehow I always got something on top. Here for example I traded the Marvel Fate for Tiger Tooth and a Stratric uh, Redline. The Tiger Tooth for a Doppler. You have to notice the, the amount of, uh, it's, it's actually purple-ish or red. Um, that's very, very important because that's phase two. It's the um, most expensive Doppler besides um, Black Pearl and, and Sapphire and, and Ruby. And yeah, I got this one. And here again, <laughs> I got a Tiger Tooth. 
as you can see, Tiger 2 fear, 1 for 1 trade, Tiger 2 fear, and he added like 10 to 15, no, it's like 10 keys, I think. Um, he has sold this stuff and downgraded the Tiger 2 um, to, to these two skins. And was able to sell the Fire Serpent for, I think, 71-ish keys plus a sticker. I think he gave me 70 keys plus the sticker. Um, and here I got a, a Bayonet Slaughter for, I think it was 105 keys. Um, yes, it was actually 105 keys. And I sold the Dark Water for that 7 keys. And I sold or downgraded the Doppler to a Knight, M4A1S Knight, and a Bayonet Blue Steel Minimal Wear. Um, this one is, even though it's pretty beautiful knife, it's quite unpopular. So I decided to, tri to exchange it for a more popular knife, the Huntsman Fate. And yeah, did this one for one trade. And I f yeah, on the 7th June in the morning, <laughs> another awesome trade happened. Um, one guy posted on my, my um, Go Launch trade an Orb Medusa field tested for, and he said he wants my knife, the Karambit Doppler. And I kind of thought like he was trolling, so I offered him the Doppler and gave him the Orb on top. That's like 10 keys, it's 11 keys actually, and he accepted it. So I had another very, very cheap Medusa for like 160 keys. Um, here I was able to sell the M41S Knight for 98 keys. And I got a new Fire Serpent for, I think it's like 66 keys. Yeah, it's 66 keys. And this one is also a, a super good trade um, because the Fire Serpent got the best possible look towards Factory New. And if you can remember, the Factory New one um, is worth over 200 keys. So now I'm trying to get a bit extra out of the minimal wear one. Maybe I'm gonna sit a while on it, but I don't mind since I'm also playing the game. And this one is the most beautiful AK in my mind. Yeah, this trade here, um, I was paying back my debts to the guy who gave me basically the startup kit to trading because I've had a bunch of keys left. Um, and here I got a, he just told me he wants a butterfly knife and I got a butterfly knife blue steel field tested for 42 keys. So now I only owe him um, an AK. He, said, he told me he wants a like a Vulcan or something and yeah, I'm gonna do this if I have the keys left at some point. Mm. Here some guy thought my Huntsman knife fate is better faded than his and so he gave me his fate plus two keys. I don't didn't really mind because my fate was already really ugly and his fate is even uglier so I don't care. Um, in this trade this is yeah the Orb Medusa. This guy he Gave him his marble fate plus 25 keys for the Orb Medusa. So, if you think back, I paid an um, Karambit Doppler plus an Orb um, Redline field tested Slatrek. That's like 160 keys, and this here is like 260 keys. And yeah, this is my last trade. Um, I downgraded. I can't even say I downgraded it because in my mind these two knives are basically like plus minus 10 keys. They are pretty similar for me, but this guy thinks differently actually. And he added an op SIM of well worn on top and a hyper beast. So yeah, these are the trades we've made over the week. Um, in numbers, um, you can see my stash. It's like 
these skins plus um, a few keys. I think it's 43 keys, uh, 34 keys, that's what I wanted to say. Um, plus the Huntsman, plus the Fire Serpent, plus the M9 Bennett Slaughter. And when I calculate with really, really cheap prices on these skins, um, my stash is worth about 540 keys. So this week we've made over 410 keys of profit. Um, you have to um, remember I gave the, the butterfly knife to, to my friend. So I actually calculated this one as profit too because we gained it from nothing. And yeah, this is, I think that's the most successful um, week of trading I've had ever. I hope it will go on similar to this one and I'm pretty sure we're gonna reach the Op Dragon Lore pretty soon because I think you can buy them between 600 and 700 keys in Factory New so we should be there fairly soon. Um, I also want to show you one quick tip um, of how I calculate or value items so basically let's take a very common item, the Huntsman Fate. Here you can see um, its average price. I forgot to mention this site is um, steamanalyst.com. It's a really really awesome site because yeah because of this the average price that's the most important thing here. So yeah, uh, the average price of it is 186 keys and we can quickly put up the calculator um, divided by the local key, key price. Since I'm in Europe it's 2.29 euros per key. So the pure price it's like 81 keys and it's very unrealistic to get this price. So you want to multiply it by the percentage you want. For example, I'm trying to sell somewhere in between 85 and 90 percent. That's like, yeah, 73 keys. If you want to, to sell it quicker, you can go down to like 70 keys. And for the, for the buying price, you use um, the same calculation but now you multiply it by something around 0.8. And as you can see, we buy it for like 65 keys and sell it for something about 70 keys. Um, here I also want to show you the most beautiful skins I've had over the week. Um, it's for sure the Karambit Marvel Fate, even though these screenshots are pretty bad, I think. But yeah, I was able to get rid of it within seven hours. <coughs> the Tiger Tooth. It's my personal f favorite. I don't know how long um, it will take to get annoyed by this look, but yeah, as you can see, if you hold it against the light, um, it's completely golden. And yeah, it's pretty beautiful. And obviously the Orb Medusa. Um, it's like the MVP in terms of trading or in terms of skins. The best skin we've got this week. Yeah, it's a Medusa screenshots and I also want to jump in game for a sec to show you the skins actually in game that's the M4 um, yeah I really like this skin <coughs> it's one of the um, more beautiful skins out of the new collection I think yeah this knife um, even though it's just field tested, I think it uh, just minimal wear. It it yeah, it looks pretty cool and pretty scratchless. And as a terrorist, obviously the fire serpent, <coughs> which is very very scratchless because it's like factory new. And the marble fade, yeah, I think this one is also in a very good condition. It. I don't really see any scratches and yeah, it's also got four colors. People like it if they have four colors on it and yeah. Thanks for watching and see you guys next week.